Hello students, in this video we will see how to find equation of a sphere when four points on the sphere are given. So we will find equation of sphere using two different methods. So first by using center radius form. So in center radius form, suppose this is our sphere and this is a center u v w and this is a radius r so if coordinates of center is are given and a radius is given then equation of the sphere is this x minus u square plus y minus v square plus z minus w square is equal to r square so this is equation of sphere in center radius form okay so we have to find equation of the sphere which passes through these four points. So we have provided these four points. So these four points lies on a surface of a sphere. So suppose here is our point P 0, 0, 0. This is here is our point Q 0, minus 1, 1. Here is our point R minus 1, 2, 0. And here is our last point 1, 2, 3. Yes. See here, all these points are lies on this sphere. You assume this as a sphere, hollow sphere, and all these four points are lies on the surface of the sphere. Now, suppose this is our center C, U, V, W. Okay. Now, by distance formula, distance between C and P, we can find distance between C and P. So we get PC square is equal to U minus 0 square plus V minus 0 square plus W minus 0 square. Similarly, when you apply distance formula for C and Q, we get QC square is equal to U minus 0 square plus V minus of minus 1. Here, second coordinate is minus 1. So V plus 1 square plus W minus 1 square. Similarly, for distance between C and R. So we get RC square is equal to U plus 1 square plus V minus 2 square plus W minus 0 square and for C and S we get SC square is equal to U minus 1 square plus V minus 2 square plus W minus 3 square. So all these are square of distances between these particular points. Now as all these points, all these four points lies on the surface of the sphere and C is a center. That means all these lengths are equal. CP is equal to CQ is equal to CR is equal to CS, right? All these points are at a distance R, that is a radius, from the center of the sphere. Okay, so here we get this equality. Now, comparing first two terms, okay, we get this equation from first PC square and RC square. We get this, and PC square is equal to SC square, so we get third equation. Now, we'll open all these brackets here. So, from this first equation, we get this. Now, you can See this u square plus v square plus w square term here and the same term is here in rc is also u square plus v square plus w square. So we can cancel this u square, v square and w square from both the sides. So we get this equation 2v minus 2w is equal to minus 2. Similarly from second equation pc square is equal to rc square we get this again here we can cancel this u, u square, v square, w square from both the sides. We get new equation 2u minus 4v is equal to minus 5u. And then from third equation, similarly, we get this third equation minus 2u minus 4v minus 6w is equal to minus 14. So now we have these four equ three equations here, three linear equations in three unknowns u, v, w. So by solving these equations, we get values of u, v, and w. So these are the values of u, v, w. Now, so therefore, our center is this. So this is how we got coordinates of center.
Now next, using center, we'll see how to find a radius. Okay, so let us take any, from those four points, you can take any point. So let us take the Q, 0, minus 1, 1. And we have this center. So distance between C and Q is a radius. So when you apply distance formula for these two points, so we get a radius, which is equal to this, under root 979 upon 14. So now we got a radius also. So the question of the sphere will be, so we have center and radius. We'll use center radius form, which is this. Now substituting these values here, so we get this. So this is the equation of the sphere. When you open these brackets, we get this. So this is a required equation of the sphere. So this is how we can find equation of the sphere by finding its center and radius. Now here, we'll see another method of finding equation of sphere for given four points on the sphere. So before this, we saw how to find equation of a sphere by finding center and radius. Now here we will use general equation of a sphere to find equation of sphere. Okay, so general equation of sphere is this x square plus y square plus z square plus 2fx plus 2gy plus 2hz plus d equals to 0. So this is general equation of sphere. Now as all these points lies on the sphere, all these points will satisfy equation of the sphere. Therefore, for first point 1, 2, 3, as it satisfies this equation, so we'll replace x by 1, y by 2, and z by 3. We'll get this equation, which reduced to 2f plus 4g plus 6h plus d is equal to minus 14. Okay, because this point lies on the sphere, so it will satisfy this equation. Similarly, for other three points, we get next other equation. So for the second point, we get this equation. For third point, 4 minus 4, 2, we get third equation. And for last point, 3, 1, 4, we get fourth equation. So here, we got these four equations in four unknowns. In previous case, we got three equations in three unknowns in center radius form. So now in this case, we got four equations in four unknowns. So right now we have these four equations. Okay, so now either you can directly solve these four equations in four unknowns and get values of F, G, H and D, but that is very lengthy task. Solving four by four system is not easy. So what we can do here, we can convert this to three by three system. Here, you get this last term. All terms are D, 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 okay? So when you subtract these equations from each other, this D will get cancelled. So here, we will subtract equation number five from equation number two. So we get, we got this equation. Subtracting fifth equation from second equation. So we got this equation where there is no D. Similarly, when we subtract fifth equation from third equation, we get second equation on this. And when we subtract fifth from fourth, we get this third equation. So now we have these three equations in three unknowns. Now, by solving these linear equations, we get values of f, g, and h. So f is minus two, g is one, and h is minus one. Okay, so we got these values of f, g, h, but we have to find value of d also. So how do you find value of d? See, these values of f, g, h, you can put in any one of these four equations and get value of d. So let's substitute these values in first equation. So f is minus two, g is one, and h is minus one, plus d is equal to minus 14. This gives us value of d, which is minus eight. So this is how we can get values of all the unknowns. So equation of the sphere will be, so this is a general form. Now we knew, know all the values, this f, g, h, and d. So substitute these values here. And this is required equation of the sphere. So this is how we can find equation of sphere using its general equation. So 
these two methods we can use to find equation of sphere when we know four points on the surface of the sphere. Thank you.